All right, guys. We got two episodes left. Four and five. We're going to hop back in. We're going to try to put as much time into this episode four as we can. Now, hopefully we're going to be beating this within the next three, four videos. If we can do it in two, we'll do it in two, but we'll see. The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Gordy. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Past. Destroy that body while I'm still young. Ghost Unfortunately, Hyperion any dream past. can quickly turn into a nightmare. And this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy waste of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as this the last is what surviving last man time. on the gladiator's if you want murder to see what bucket happened. list. Don't watch the videos. The just said nothing if as not, the gladiator prepared watch the to damn take a Lucky for him, it was that moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man this game really were has forced been awesome to so surrender. Far. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Yes, sir. And can we talk about the way Fiona got beat? The lady threw a damn gun at her and she was too weak to move it. Skag. Dead skag. We should find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's... Let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're, you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I... Hmm, I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. It does look familiar, I've this been thinking that. endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh... Aren't you kind of, you know... Vault hunting, no? Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose it. Yes, I don't know. What's he gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it, and you should too. Don't do it. Remember, zigzag when you run, okay? Head up. Makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's... it's genius. Alright, going on three. One. Two. I'm not running. Three, go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. Ah, what the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower. Get to the shelter. He said that there was gonna be fucking meteor showers. Oh god! That's not good. That was close. It was, wasn't it? What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you. I two. didn't run. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. 
So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Nah, you're just weak. You're weak as fuck. How much could the rocket launcher weigh? If she's holding it over her shoulder like this and you Boy? can't even move it. Vaughn! Shut up. <sighs> hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Gordas, hey, look at me. It'll be all right. Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the Vault and hold it here, then... You collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... You're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. Is this about Athena? You're feeling I guilty. Hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. Where did they take Athena? It seems Lilith and the Crimson Raiders have some questions for her. For what? Lilith? Your friend has a long list of heinous things she has to answer for. Enough about yeah. Athena. Yeah. Let's talk about what you and your friends. Okay. Hey! Hey, what are you doing with him? There's no need for guns. I've come to strike an accord. A what? What are the terms? It's rather simple, really. I turn over this Hyperion number cruncher. And you allow me to return to my work unharmed. I knew we couldn't trust you. That's all you want? Yes. I just wish to be left alone. I don't understand. What did Vaughn ever do to you? Seeing as I saved his life, cured his paralysis, allowing me some peace is the least he That's can fair. You've got a deal. Ah, all right, all right. Then I shall make my leave. I will remember this. I suspected you would. Fine! You all right? Ah, I've been better. Now listen up. Under normal <laughs> circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But... But these are not normal circumstances. Okay. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. <laughs> this is not a negotiation. Don't say nothing. She's not giving us a choice. Sorry, you're going to have to speak up. I couldn't talk here. Jeez, it's okay, yes. Hey! What's it gonna be, Fiona? <laughs> Sweet, so take this out. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah, okay. Yes, okay, we'll work for you. But we get a cut. Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. Are you seriously asking me for a cut? While I have a knife in your friend? Yes. Clearly, I should phrase that differently. We'll discuss terms when you get back. Okay. Patch up the nerd. Don't want him bleeding out on us. 
Oh, great, getting dragged away some more. Jesus Christ. I should be getting used to this by now. Just fucking turn on your side. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up Son. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. I don't know what to say, I'm so Valerie's son is August. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll we'll find a rocket booster. <laughs> I'm loving your optimism. Thank you. Alright guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've gotta to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordus's vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. <clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, up, moron. Man. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. Well, I or wasn't in here, so how about you take out? it easy a little okay, bit? Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make some How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll sword. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. Wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure there's, there's greatness the in there so somewhere. We just just gotta keep looking. I'm not gonna talk to you. You That's okay. That's okay. You don't have to say anything. I know. Yeah, you got that. Help so me! Look all over you, reality. sad douchey face. Saying. The reality is that we don't have a choice. All right, I got. No, we've got had our differences, corner. and I'll admit I can I get pretty grouchy when I don't get my own. You're only to trying to be friendly. To maximize our chances, you have to. I'm ready to bury the hatchet. You know we can't right. do that. It's What's a metaphorical hatchet, now? especially because I, no, I, know, I don't. I don't know. really have any hands right now. Which is a real bitch. I tell you what. You know. I know you love hearing yourself yammer on, but just spit it out, will ya? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Do I seriously talk too much, Reese? I'm sorry, man. <laughs> and no one's ever told me the truth before. Thank you. Thanks for your honesty. I really appreciate it, man. You're welcome. Yeah, what I'm saying is this. I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there. And it's mission accomplished, baby. Huh? I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? Yeah, I do. See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Beacon detected! We got a winner! I'm sending Reed some location data now. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason how. why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man. VIP tour. I get that you're scared. Hey, I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great. Sign me up. I don't know how we're going to get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios. Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, Helios is in space, so we need a spaceship, obviously. Okay. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him anytime. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss. And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Surely Before we dock, I'll tell Yvette we've season. arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. 
Double high five? Yes, sir. Eddie, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. This is not gonna go like this at all. <laughs> I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. Is this actually happening? From There's there, no we'll get into Jack's office. We're all. <laughs> Hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... Oh, Digistruct of Vast Skies... Pretty squares. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So, I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So, how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell them, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. That's okay. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> I've already told in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? I did tell you. You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? Yes, I already told you this. And here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but uh, I told you so. I'm trying to be honest with you guys. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess. I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good. I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again... How can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. This might sound nuts, but... I can control him. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, even if he wanted to. Unless we're in his office. If who wanted to what? <laughs> Alright, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. Big ass Gordas. I don't like being alone with this... thing. Why oh, you want to smash? You so much. 
You ain't never heard of a fucking robot, my boy? Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. He's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. It'll be fine. Well, Scooter's a solid guy. He's not gonna hold a tiny little con against us. I guess he does seem to like us. Yeah, maybe. Ha! It's our living, breathing fried Fiona! Looking as fresh in her new duds as any gentle lady I ever seen! Thank Come you. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? Not I good. know you sure like going fast, ha <laughs> ha! Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Oh, hey. So, uh... Hmm. We lied about being racers. We were only in that one death rally by accident. We just really needed repairs. Like, life or death stuff. Sorry. Oh, no, I am so surprised. Come on, girl, I knew you wasn't racers. But you look like a couple of good-natured gals, and I never turned down an opportunity to help a couple ladies, especially when I got a crush on one of them, and I will not say who that is, no matter what. Fiona, shoot! What can I do you for? Let him smash. He'll make a rocket for you. Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's... Uh, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can... I can shut... Mine. We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh man, I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving exactly all their what lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let him have this. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it. Oh, wait. When I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two. Because, look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. Okay. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Janie Springs, Athena's girlfriend. I don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to set her mind at ease, but I'll talk to her. Hi. Uh, I know we've never met, but I was with Athena when uh, she got taken. Yeah? Yeah. She talked about you a lot. Sure she did. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Yep. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. She was... Training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Dead. Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... She was saving my life. Valerie threw two vault hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. 
Ha ha ha, this is kinda awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just got I just to... want to know one last thing. What's and that? then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted... Sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. Young lady, you are going to have yourself a rocket. And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. There you go. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh, man! That sounds like a job for the go, land if I ever heard one. Well, I'll have you involved, and my considering boy. Considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all He's that, uh, it'll be like just, just wow. Yeah. Scooter, want to come with? Be our onboard mechanic? You mean it? Yeah. Whoa, space buddies! Yes, sir. I'd, I'd be happy to have you, Scooter. While Fiona was talking her way into a rocket caravan, I was going to meet up with Wallet then. Fortunately, I had company. I, uh, should have said this earlier. <laughs> Can't believe Fiona let you get stabbed. Don't blame her. She couldn't have known. Valerie was the one holding the knife. Just glad she agreed to help when she did. Hold me. I'm not sure how I feel about you going to Helios without me. I think I'm kind of glad. I don't know if I want to get tempted to stay. Then again, it'd be nice to see some people. Yvette, especially. Well, you'll definitely be missed. The old stomping grounds won't be the same without you. Well, you were the best up there. If anyone can pull this off, you can, buddy. Appreciate it. Thanks. I'm just sorry uh, we're not doing it together. I mean, did you get a little stabbed? Sure. But, look, man, you're handling yourself in ways that I would have never expected. And jumping on Valerie's back like that? That was pretty epic, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> totally. I mean, she Wild. beat the living shit out of me right after you left. And I took it! Uh, of course you did. But, but, you saved my ass. I did, didn't I? Yep. <laughs> you did. You think I should try and escape while you guys are gone? I mean, if I'm the only collateral she has, maybe it'll help if I'm off the table. Take away her leverage. I mean, obviously running seems dangerous, but uh, just play it safe sticking around doesn't seem so great either. Hey, we've seen what Pandora does to heroes, so just play hostage until we get back. You're right. Better to play it safe. And we will come back. I know. Right. Well, it's all you from here. Uh, <laughs> I'm not sure I could keep up anyway. Bro, knee? Hmm? You're the broest to bros. Just be careful out there, okay? Yes, sir. Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. And you? I'll stay in here. And, uh, if you ain't back with the goods, you could use your buddy's corpse to get inside Helios. I, I don't know if that's true. He, okay, uh, I get it. He's also blacklisted, go. though. So I don't know how you plan on using his corpse. Alright, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body 
get back here and not crap our pants. But you <laughs> are going to have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's felt <laughs> huge. Two out of three ain't bad. He wants me in his office. My office. So bad. Not your hard on. Whatever. Our junction. Uh, back here again. Thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Oh. All right. We gotta do this again, or satellite. Why are these skegs here? Scary, yes, run, yes. Okay. All I needed to know. Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't know which way I need to go. Guess we're gonna go this way. You could move a little bit faster. Just a little, just, just, just a smidge faster. That would be great. Okay, I can't go that way, so I have to come this way. Wallet head syndrome? What the fuck? <laughs> you see? I told you so. Wallet head. Alright, wallet head. Damn. Time to show your face back on Helios. Damn. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. What? A skin pill. Oh, God. What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you clearly haven't been on Pandora long enough, compadre. Why would you use the face, though? Why not, like, the arm or something? Let's find Vasquez's face. Mmm. And get out of here. You're the boss. This is not gonna work. I'm gonna look like fucking Leatherface. Alright, look, Reese. What happened between you and me... There was a pizza the box past. right there. Okay. said Moxie's Pizza. Is that not what we're looking It's almost for? like it never happened. Let's just drop it, okay? So we can focus on finding the face. Okie dokie, I'll drop it like a moonshot into a basket full of puppies. No problemo. You gotta keep an so eye just on your bitch, friends bro. during this Helios mission, puppies. huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? Is that pizza? Is that his face? He's literally wearing his face. Well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Mm. How am I gonna find Vasquez's face? It's on in his all this mess. Face. That's what an echo eyes for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Scanning, scanning. Ooh, Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, pumpkin. Let's rock this walk. And take Whoa. your time. This place is scaring me, and I'm a freaking hologram. Skag or human. Uh, careful rotten. now. Pupil Wanna end up psycho dinner? High. Okay. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. I mean, skin pizza doesn't sound that bad. He's gonna jump. Disturb the sleep pattern? Flawless! Not now. Interrupt. 
right, good, good, again, this time with feeling. Give him the your old smack down. Attaboy. Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep. Smacky oh. dabby. I should punch with this arm more often. Yeah, dumbass. It's a robotic arm. enough because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Oh, with her dying. Okay, there's Vasquez. And he's got a bomb on his looks chest. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on... Pa Just rip it off like a bandage! Quick and painful! Oh, Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off, peeling off the face, not going to barf into his mouth. With your mouth. <sighs> That's it, go on. Peel off that face like a serial this killer. Is up. You're sick. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, it's stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that That is just the, the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh, God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh, no, 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 no. Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh pinch it off. Just pinch it off. Right? Seriously? Oh, please don't do it. Please, please, please don't do this to me. What oh, the fuck? <laughs> oh. Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no thousands of psychos chased me. Oh really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could so one one yeah hey hey you made it and you're not even bleeding awesome so i go with chest bomb. boom did you say bomb psycho <laughs> yeah where <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just going to take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. Jesus fucking criminy, man. Uh. Hey, man. Don't think you're not helping with this. How about some plastic gloves? You know, just to uh, keep it sanitary? No? Okay. Well, let's just all get diseases then. Fucking disgusting. That was a disgusting scene. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within 10 seconds, be my guest. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something, or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. Hey, more outfit money, baby. Let's see what Sasha cleans so, up to look like. what are you gonna like. get, sis? Damn. Alright, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. Includes monocle pocket. 
This is made from gold, so that's fine. Actually, it looks like I need to get that. Ooh, that'll look good. Are you both blind? Bro, you wanted to fuck her, so why don't you stop being salty? The Onyx Overlord. All right, Overlord. thanks, V. I'll try it on in a she bit. She looks like she cleans up worth pretty the cash. nice. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. I think we're good. Scooter. Why doesn't she have Dude, her new like outfit on? You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have kept Jack a secret like that. It, it's kind of a weird thing to be dealing with. Not that that's an excuse. It's, it's just what happened. And I wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Ugh. Still just thinking about him pulling the face hey, off. Is this disguise gonna work? I don't know. I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. And you dress terrible. So maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious. I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks no, very it was convincing. A pun. It's, a, it's a good look for you. Yeah, it was Thanks. a pun intentionally. I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. Yeah. Have fun with that. Thank you. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <sighs> Unlocked. There we go, there we go. <sighs> That's convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. I don't like it. I don't this like is... it at all. <laughs> oh, definitely weird. Well, it's I thought certainly... that was gorgeous. I was like, Jesus Big. Christ. <gasps> That's Scooter for you. I wish Vaughn was going with us. Yeah, me too, actually. You trying to fuck my mans? I'll take your sister and Vaughn can have you, that's fine. Oh great, we're getting copyright money. Thick ass gorgeous. Why are you so bitter? I'll fuck you too, shit. What you, what you mean? What you want? <laughs> I'll fuck you too, Scooter. Five minutes into this fucking episode, and we're just now getting the title screen. Unless 
scared to run to me Lost like when you were mine And you can take what you want from me Just don't lie It's not like the deepest story ever, but it just, it just feels important. This has been a wild ride so far, and it, I don't know. They've, they've got me locked in. I like all the characters. Fee, you gotta see this. <gasps> Oops. Little help? Not a problem. That's creepy. Right. Sorry. Yeah, that is fucking weird. Pandora. I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. Damn. What I, a massive bomb! I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. Who'd it's have beautiful thought? from up here. We haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. <sighs> I keep forgetting they're here. So... Once we get the beacon... We got Vasquez's body, face, and voice. Would it be fair to assume that I could walk in and pretty much demand that Reese be forgiven and give him a, a, a his position and then retire and then walk into the bathroom or something and then be like, oh, I don't know where he went, but now I'm Reese again and I'm the boss. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how these things work. I'm just saying. It seems like that could be an option. We'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Uh, Again. Eh, we wing it. <laughs> of course we do. When you're good at something, why stop? Yes, sir. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got away from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? Ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa, need for that. Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. We'll talk about it on the way back. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, I get it. Prioritizing and all. It's cool. It's cool. 
Warning! Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Debris collision? Is that a person? Uh oh. Looks like someone else isn't feeling well. Henderson. No shit! Tell us something we don't know! Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Is it something you can fix? Regrettably, not in my current state. The damage is too severe. This ship requires additional thrust. Right! Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. Uh, uh. Oh, yeah! We're gonna burn! Oh, man, I got, like, 50 lines I want to say about full thrust. It's like I got a jump log jam in my brain. You ever stop, man? Serious. Scooter! Hey, what's up? Concentrate! What do we do next? Oh, at the moment? Right? What? Yeah, we're running like real hot right now. We're like crazy hot. But we gotta do it. This is our only shot. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. When we do, you gotta shut this puppy down. You hear? Yeah, yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? I mean, you obviously heard it. Bitch. Why are the alarms still going? Now nah, that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Okay. Mister of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh, when are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? What? Huh? <laughs> if you get us out of this scooter, I'll let you hit. I don't give a damn. Uh, don't you worry, you're pretty little. Yeah, all of you, Dad, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though. Okay. Let's get out here. This isn't good, man. Hey guys, you're gonna save us now, right? Well, that's the idea. Stay safe. All right, you go that way towards the rocket, and I'll take care of the other one. Listen, we ain't got much time. Be careful, Fee. Uh, that's not necessarily an option here. Urgency and careful are <laughs> two different right. things. Easy does it. Time to move. That's right. Easy does it. We gonna get an upskirt? No. Maybe. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Uh, dangerous looking one? Yeah, that's it. Now there's a yellow button in there that you gotta push. That's step one. Okay. Right. 
the button wedged all the way in the back. Oh, you got it? All right. No! What? <laughs> when you press it, you gotta pull your arm out real quick because it's gonna clamp down something fierce. You got me? Yep. Be careful. You're almost there. You... <sighs> Left rocket stable, Fiona! All right. Now pull the last to detach that sucker while we still can! <laughs> How the hell does she know what it looks like? <laughs> Aren't we awesome. right outside of the high Get your ass base? over to my side. Make it fast. You mean to tell me nobody noticed this shit? <laughs> I would not be taking chances on that. Oh shit. <laughs> Can't do step two without step one, right? No! Guess my arms aren't quite as long as I thought. Guys, that rocket's at critical. You gotta hurry. No compensating on this one. So, how do I get you out of there? What do we do? Unfortunately, there's only one thing you can do. Uh, what's going on out there? Nothing. Don't you worry. Fiona's got this. Hey. Hey. You gotta go over there, pull that latch, and cut this rocket loose. Scooter, man. No. There's no time for anything else, you understand? You gotta do it or else the whole ship's gonna go. You know what to do, and uh... Good, cause I don't really feel like arguing with you either. Your face gets all squinty when you get mad. I ain't a great look. Now don't you go feeling all sorry for me, alright? People on Pandora will be talking about old Scooter for a long time. Can't think of a more epic way to go. Thank you, Scooter. Thank you. Hey, I'm real glad to have met you, Fiona. Right Rocket is way past critical, guys! Sorry, man. This is the way it's gotta be. was the first casualty of the mission. What? And what fucking realm? And what world, field? So, what did you do next? What did we do? We honored him as best we could. Launching this on the way back isn't good enough. We're doing it now. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. You'll like catch a run. 
Glad you know how to work that. like to lose someone you care about the worst part is scooter was the best of us that's facts he deserves so much Other better gorgeous he was definitely one of the nicest people i met on pandora although that's not probably saying much anyway we didn't have much time to mourn and all that things started to get crazy the minute we landed on helios You know what time it is. <laughs> Alright guys, man, we're gonna have to end this one here. R.I.P. to my boy Scooter, man. Damn. We're gonna see what happens next time. I feel like it's about to start getting crazy. It's already been crazy the whole way through, but... Shit's really about to hit the fan. I think that uh, when we get to Handsome Jack's office, we're gonna have some interesting things to uh, work out, so to speak. But, uh, it's been wild, man. It's been wild. So, uh, hope to see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for coming to Red's World. Stay tuned for more to come soon. And I will see you in the next video.